Inside Gaza, in North Gaza, Israeli troops have full control of a now non-operational children's hospital in northern Gaza. It closed last Thursday. And today, the IDF is insisting Hamas was using the Rantizi complex to hide hostages. Even releasing footage, they claim, shows where some were being held. But medical personnel from non-governmental organizations, Palestinian-American groups and others, and U.S. groups, refute that claim and say that they've never seen Hamas activity at their hospital. The facility was the only one in Gaza specializing in treating children with cancer, where many young patients had been cut off from chemotherapy for more than a month since the war started. Until the White House, Palestinian cancer advocates and St. Jude's Hospital for Children stepped in. Victory at last for 10-year-old Juri Zakut, one of 21 Palestinian children with cancer. Safe in an Egyptian hospital, flashing a sign of victory. The children with parents or guardians at the center of a secret international mission since the war began to rescue them from Gaza. Their joy tempered by reality. She says, I would lie if I said I was optimistic and my family is still in Gaza. I am afraid for them and our house has been hit. <laughs> Tahani came to Egypt with four-year-old Omar, leaving behind their family for the chance to save his life. <laughs> she says, I had the feeling of any mother who was afraid for her son. I was afraid that his treatment would stop. It's been a treacherous journey, especially after Israel warned the hospital and then attacked. The evacuation initiated by cancer advocates at the Palestine Children's Rescue Fund and St. Jude's Hospital, with help from Egypt, Jordan, and the U.S. The president was closely involved in helping children get out of Ukraine uh, that, were, uh, that needed cancer treatment. Immediately upon hearing about this request, uh, the president directed us to do whatever we could to help these uh, you know, civilians who were in uh, very acute situations. Uh, get out of Gaza. Two-year-old Afaf and her father left her mom and siblings behind. <laughs> Sadness mixed with relief. They start to smile for the first time and they start to feel secure. It's very relieving and we hope that we can uh, do that for all the needed children in uh, Gaza. One more child did get out today, but with the Children's Hospital in Gaza now closed, 30 children remain trapped in the war zone. Some approved to get out, but they've been displaced from their homes. Cell phones aren't working. They don't have electricity, so they've been hard to locate. We'll stay on this.